Hello, um, my name is Rachel Park, and this is going to be a redraw of a drawing I did in freshman year. Alright, so this is, alright, this is the said drawing that I am going to redraw. Um, I don't know about you, but I personally cringe at this. I don't really like it. <laughs> Um, but it is my freshman year drawing, so I can't really judge. So, this is the start of my redraw. Anyways, uh, I used, well, I am using Paint Tool Sci for this and a Wacom Intuos tablet and pen for this um, digital art. Anyways, as to why I don't like my freshman year drawing um well you saw that the proportions were way off and the coloring and shading are quite quite abysmal but that's neither here nor there anyways the sketch i'm doing right now is just um the preliminary preliminary sketch <laughs> um after this i'm probably gonna do a what's it called a uh, line art and uh, you'll see shortly anyways um i think doing the sketch took me about an hour to do although in this speed up version it took only like what 40 seconds maybe a minute but um an hour to make the pose the structure whereas uh it looks like it took a lot shorter but um everything was based on the freshman year drawing that i modified so it looks a lot better and it's not as stiff looking if that makes sense anyways um i wanted to talk about how i improved in my art skills over the years and how to be good quote unquote um at art per se um okay so i will say that i have improved exponentially since my freshman year um i will have to give credit to my art classes that i took in freshman and sophomore year um they forced me to explore different fields of art that uh i wouldn't have necess necessarily tried just because my inherent laziness or uh, just wanting to stay within my comfort zone but yeah um, but I will of course have to give the majority of the credit to myself uh, <laughs> art has been a part of my life since probably at the very least first grade um, I remember wanting to be a comic book artist then and I don't think that has changed maybe it's just farther back in the list of things I want to be. Um, quick aside, but I absolutely love the art of Phil Noto. He is a comic book artist and his aesthetic is great and totally fits with me. Um, he's done comics like Black Widow as far, far as I've seen, but he uses like, it's like line art plus watercolor, but not quite and it's amazing you should look him up but anyways i digress anyways so back to my improvement um i think the main reason for my improvement is the constant practice slash doodling i do whether it be on my math homework or other homework or um in my sketchbook or anything else but um i try to draw something every day whether it as I said, just a quick sketch or a realistic piece or something I based off of on references or whatever. And by the way, references are your friend. Don't let anyone tell you that it is copying. References are your friend. Anyways, uh, <laughs> um, anyways drawing every day is sort of like ingrained into my schedule. And I think it was key to making myself improve in my own artwork um 
People always look at my art and comment about how they wish they could draw as good as me, and I always feel compelled to tell them that um, that they can be as good as me, however good that they that might be, <laughs> um, or even better. Um, I think that being good at art isn't something that you're just born with, which I think people just assume that you're born with, but uh, I don't think it is. It's just something that you work for, like any other skill, like sports or, I don't know, math, singing, skills. Yeah. <laughs> Um, of course there is natural talent, but obviously not everyone in art has natural talent. So, how did they get there? They worked for it. <laughs> and that most definitely helps, but... Uh, so yeah, art isn't some unattainable skill that can't be cultivated, I guess. Um, and I don't think enough people know this partly because art is undervalued in today's society, I think, but that's my opinion. Um, art is a process where you continuously learn and experiment with either techniques, uh, mediums, and really anything. Um, art is what you make it, so you just make whatever. Um, I don't think it matters if it's good or not, as long as you're, you yourself are satisfied with what you tried to portray, and if you are not, then you could try again. There is nothing bad with trying again. Um, anyways, so uh, I will do little sketches of people or things, and just erase or cross out everything and start all over because I don't like the way it looks so starting again isn't bad it just means that you recognized that you don't like what you're drawing or you made a mistake or something and you are trying all over again and I guess I could quote the movie that one movie that Eddie Murphy was in I forget what it's called but you try and you fail, and you try, and you fail, and you try, and you fail, but you only fail when you don't try again. Saying that out loud sounds pretty cliche, but I guess it's true in some sorts, at least for art. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I think recognizing that you don't like what you're doing or that you made a mistake is a form of learning and in the end it will help you improve as it does for me although it doesn't seem like it at the moment it just seems like I made a mess <laughs> but all in all I think people should know that art isn't something that is only appreciated when it's perfect um, I make a lot of mistakes for it obviously but people still comment about how they like my art even though I might not like it and that's always encouraging so really you just gotta work for it as I have but um also this painting oh well I'm finished but yeah um I don't think I Boldly did the entire speed painting here. Um, you didn't see me add shading or the headband and wings because I totally forgot to add them while I was doing the speed paint, but uh, here they are. But, anyways, here's the end result. Uh, as you can see, it is has improved greatly since my freshman year drawing, but. Um, uh, anyone can improve like this so yeah uh, I'm just rambling here but thank you for watching I guess and bye